Hey everybody, this is Pat with Love Our Planet Adventures. It's been a while since we've done another video, but I just got a new uh, battery that I just got in, a 300 amp hour GETA battery. I'm going to be replacing my other four batteries that are in parallel, the 100 amp hours, with the GETA 300 amp hour and it is a 3840 watt hour. So it's going to give, like, for instance, you could have a heater running, a 1,000 watt heater for almost four hours with this battery. It weighs about 60 pounds. It's really incredible. So I'm going to be unboxing this right now and showing you guys a little bit about this. Really cool. Gives you all the um, information about this battery in here, all the different ones they make up to 400 amp hours. This one's a 300 amp hour. It has the built-in heater. So I decided to go again with the built-in heater. Um, this is my second one of these. I've been using another one and I really, really like the performance of it. Um, it's also been way much better than the other four amp, um, 400 amp hours all put in parallel. It's just, they can't even compete with this setup, uh, just all in one. So I'm going to take this out of here and I'm going to show you. A little bit about this yeah it's a really nice battery it's also using automatic automotive cells so this company right here Jita, right out of china they uh really cool i decided to do this video they didn't i did i paid for this battery i'm just doing this because i like the batteries and but they did send me a, a free um 15 amp hour uh yeah 15 amp charger so right here which is really nice Amp. They have a whole bunch of different ones, but they say this is the one that works best with the with the battery. So, so I use I have two of these. So yeah, this is the battery in here. Okay, you can see the size of that thing. Yeah, it's got two. Uh, I think they're three eighths or five sixteenth posts, positive and negative here. Uh, yeah, weighs about what I think about sixty pounds, 60, 65 pounds compared to the other ones that are like thirty eight. I'll be saving 60 pounds, over 60 pounds, having this battery compared to all four of the other ones. So I won't have to hook them up in parallel, and I'm sure the performance would be better. So, yeah, it's a great battery. Um, there's the company. Jita, I think, makes all the batteries for most all battery companies. They're like the largest, one of the largest companies out there. So really, really nice. Very nice instruction manual. Um, you know, they do all the stuff for the houses and things, too. So... Right there, there they are. So I decided they, you know, they gave me a free charger. I'm going to do a, a good uh, video. I did a video before, but it wasn't as good. So I'm going to take this one out here pretty soon. And um, I've got, uh, use the same inverter I have. And then I have a new inverter for these other batteries that I'll show you what we're doing. So I'll be right back in a second. There is the Aluma trailer. Guys, it's been sitting for a while. That's why I haven't done any videos. We haven't been really out traveling right now. We've been kind of just saving everything up and getting ready to go. Um, last year, about the same time, we were in Cape Disappointment out on the Oregon coast. And that was a great trip. We had uh, rain, sleet, snow, or hail, sunshine all in one day. So, But here's what I'm doing. Okay, so I'll pop over here and I'll show you guys. I don't have any light in here, so I'm probably not going to really do anything to show you. But underneath here, I've showed this once before, is another battery and inverter down there. Okay, so that's in my little compartment. But over here, had the Mr. Buddy on to heat us up. There is the four batteries, okay? So those four batteries, I'm going to be taking each one of those out of there and then putting the new Jita battery in there. And I'll have to switch some of these wires around. I've got all the wires. See, these 400 amp hours was good, but it is, I swear to you, that 300 amp hour one is better because I think the cells are better. I think it's because you don't have to hook them all in parallel. There's a lot of things that go with it. This is going to be a lot better setup. It's going to fit in the box better. I'm not going to have these wires all over the place. I'll take these ones and I'll put these in the house. I'll make a solar generator so when the power goes out, I'll have that so I'm gonna start taking these ones out here of here and um, then start wiring in here and I'll show you guys when I get the, the new one in okay I'll be right back in a few okay so there's one of them out of there so you can see I have my spacing here they fit in there really well we built this uh, this box out of birch 
I used birch wood for the box. Can you believe that? But it worked out really well. And then I've got the uh, I got the inverter up there. So there's the space. I've um, got wiring going through there. So it's really it's nice. The bot the new battery will fit right in there. These are good batteries. I mean, they worked great for a while, but you know. I had two, and then I had three, and then four. They're Mission Battery Company. No disrespect to these guys. I mean, the guy that runs this company is a really good customer service. We had a great chat about batteries and all that. But, you know, I think that they're just, you know, the technology is changing so fast that they're uh, they're getting they're getting real good, you know. The the uh, Cheeto battery, I think the cells, those automotive cells are really top-notch. So that's what's going on. So I'll be right back. I'm going to get this uh, new battery in here and get these guys out of here, okay? Okay, now I have the Jita battery in here, 12.8 uh, volt, 300 amp hour with the heating. So it says heating in there. So what that does is if it's under 32 degrees outside Fahrenheit, it'll charge, it'll heat the battery up for uh, to 50 degrees uh, before it'll start um, charging. Because you don't want to take lithium batteries under freezing and try to charge them, you'll damage the cells. But you can discharge them, but just not charge them up. So it fits in there perfectly, but I've got a little bit of a gap on both sides. So I want to put some foam in between, but then on the bottom, I'm going to get some of this rubberized stuff to keep it from sliding because it's sliding a little bit. But yeah, I should be able to hook up that positive wire right there. And then the negatives, I've got to get a couple a little longer. So I'll be right back. I'm going to get this uh, for the bottom so it doesn't slide around. And then I might have to take my strap and lower it down lower. So, because that way, just in case. So, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got the battery in, I put this little rubberized uh, little stuff down below. Um, you know, it's got a grip, so this thing can't slide around. And then I'm going to take this and adjust this down a little lower. Um, maybe one of them and just have it go down here. So that way, just a precautionary, just in case it doesn't slip um, out of there. But, yeah, um, this battery... Um, that's why I got another one of them because the other one is working so well. I could use the induction oven six, seven times and the uh, water kettle before I had lost any power. And I think the main reason is, is I just got one hookup and it's all BMS battery management systems all hooked together in one unit. And it doesn't have any um, draw off having to go through these parallel wires and all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of resistance. So this way you don't have that. Um, so it's going to be. It fit in there perfectly, too. I mean, this thing is... I mean, I didn't even build it for this box. I didn't build this battery or this box for this battery. And either the other one either. And they both fit on there. So I think they're kind of meant to be in here. So what I'm going to do here is this is a positive. And this is going to just hook up here in the positive here. They're, one of the, the negative will work over there on the negative side. But one of the negatives is too short. So I'm probably just going to take this positive and then wrap it with... Um, black tape so that way I know because this is a really good wire and um, pop that over there so ni nice thing about it is it's only got a couple of its connections I got uh, what one positive and the battery um, yeah pretty much just one positive and then one uh, two negatives and that should be it then I'll have to take this battery charger out my uh, what do you call it your uh, Victron Victron Energy, I'll have to take that out of here. That's a 25 amp, but I'm not going to use it because I don't want to use the wrong... I mean, it probably will work fine, but I want to use the one that came with the battery because that's what they said to use it. It seems to work really well. It has a fan in there. Um, this one would be good as a backup for the other batteries, and then I got the charge controller up there so I can use that You know, when I'm doing solar and all that. So, uh, But yeah, I'll take it out of here. I'll probably lift this up a little bit because this one's waterproof. That's what I do like about this one. It is waterproof. The other one, I don't know if it is, so I'm going to probably raise it up um, and do that. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to get this thing hooked up, and then I'm going to check the power. And then they're saying that you need to discharge it fully, a deep discharge, and then go ahead and uh, charge it up to get it to reset itself. So I'll be doing that. So I'll be back soon. So I got the battery in, and it's been a few, about probably 45 minutes till I got back to this video. I'm going to mount the, solar, uh, the battery charger right here. I don't know if I'm going to use those or not, but then I can just plug it in. It's uh, It's got the rabbit ears on there. Let's see if I can grab it. There it is. Rabbit ears. It's got the. It's got those guys right there, but one of them was broke, so I've got to get another one sent to me. And I'm trying to figure out how to fix it, but it's uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go right there. I'm going to mount it right up. 
right up there. Pop it in like that. And uh, it'll actually be turned around this way. Turned around that way. And uh, put the battery cables right there. Plug them in. So that's what that's going to happen there with that. And uh, what I had to do is I had to reroute some stuff um, right around here. So that'll be uh, reroute a few of these cables positive with the breaker going down into the positive there. And then I've got a negative off the bus bar. And then also a negative off this bus bar. I got two of them running. I got one for down he up here. Um, I have one over here that I can use uh, for doing a bunch of different checking checking stuff out. So I don't have to look over here all the time. So I'm running this guy right here. That'll go to the negative. And then I've got this one right here running off this bus bar. Uh, he's running off solar. So some of it's solar and some of it's the regular battery. And then I've got the temperature temperature right there and I'm gonna get that I went around the back so yeah I got everything pretty organized but I got these really long wires from this um Victron here it's like freaking they're so long it's like it's made for like going from the back of a 30 42 foot RV up to the front of the cab man or something man they give you a lot of wire so that'll go over there I'm gonna probably put it up up there so that'll be um this guy yeah right there that I've had for a long, 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 long time. So right there. And then plug that in. So they'll give me some more data. So yeah, I'll be right back. I'm going to get this thing uh, um, organized a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a test on the battery. Uh, probably with the water heater. So I'll be back soon. Okay, so it came right out of the box. At a pretty good level. Um, not bad at all. Uh, everything's hooked up. Positive. Got my two negatives for my one uh, bus bar. Uh, back up and then I've got the other one over here that goes to everything solar all through here Kind of a mess, but I cleaned it up a little bit got all my positives there and I got my Victron bus bar there and I got my negative bus bar over there and then there's the inverter. There's the wire for the uh, for the other uh, Battery monitor, okay, and yeah, I just got it hooked up and let's see what we got going on over here. We have we have 96 right out of the box. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but whoa, that's not easy to be able to see. Let's see. You guys, you guys can't see that, but it's 96.31. Wow, that thing's really bright. I thought the camera's on. Okay. But yeah, it's a, it's right at 96 point, uh, 96%, 13.1 out of the box, 13.18 volts. Uh, what energy am I using right now? nothing so that's gonna be really good guys that's a great battery Jita is the company uh, heating battery um, I'm gonna put the charger right there as soon as I get that thing fixed it came out of the box and it's like got a spring and I'm gonna see if I can figure it out but I've got another charger exactly like it so but this one's gonna get mounted there I can just rabbit ear it right over there and um, yeah so so far so good um, I'm going to do another test before I'm done here. I want to put the heater, the water heater on, which runs a lot of power. And I want to see if what that will do, because I need to drain this. So let's, let's check this out and I'll tell you exactly what's going on. Just a minute. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and I got my gauges all hooked up over here. I got one there and I got one here and I just unplugged from shore power and I'm at 1318. And I got, uh, I'm not going to do the water heater. What I'm going to do is I've got this 150 or 100 watt bulb here, reptile light heater. And then I've got this guy right here. So I'm going to go ahead and, that's about 200, 200 watt heater. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the, turn it back, turn the inverter on right here. The switch. And, uh, uh hold on. Yep, I'm going to have to turn on some. Yeah, I forgot to turn on this guy over here. There we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. I had to get the uh, fuse on. Okay, can't do that without the fuse. Okay, so now we should be set. Ooh, there we go. 
So we just dropped down, yeah. I'm running uh, 18 amps, 235 watts. Wow, that's uh, pretty good. But I really want to—I really want to do a test real quick because that's only running about 200 watts, 100, 300 watts. Yeah, so we're running 228. So what I'm going to do is pause this real quick. I'm going to try this water heater and see how the water heater literally can handle this. Okay, could you guys see that okay? Can't really see that bottom one, but there it is. Yep, running about, uh, yeah, back and forth, a little bit of different power. So I'm going to turn this heater off in back of me. Right here, that one. And turn the water heater on. So I'll be right back, do a test on that, see how this battery's doing. So far, I love these automotive cell Gitas because they got a lot of power. I mean, that other four set that I showed you earlier... Can't even compare, that's 400 amp hour. So the circuitry in this and the BMS and all that, battery management system seems to be real optimal. So but I'll be right back in a second. Okay, here's gonna be the ultimate test. I'm gonna uh, turn on my water heater that's gonna run about 800 watts. So this is gonna be the ultimate test. Plus I still have that, that light over here, the reptile light. That light on, that's about 100 watts. So let's just see what happens here, man. I mean, this this should be, this is pretty exciting because, I mean, the other battery can't even compare. So let's just see what we got going on here. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on right now. There we go. Whoa, 665 amps. Yeah, 775 watts running. Yeah, that thing's really pumping some juice right there. 65 amps. 765 watts. Whoa, it, it hit it. It lasted longer than the other one did. Anyway, okay, that's the ultimate test. I just wanted to try it out. So uh, anyway, this battery can handle quite a bit of power real fast. I think the, the circuitry in the, the inverter, I'm going to have to check everything to make sure it's all at the right voltage and everything like that. So... But uh, let me go ahead and turn this off, and uh, I'll be right back. By the way, when it um, turned back off the inverter, it went back to 1306, 13 volts. So this thing bounces back really well. I think it just couldn't handle the overall power of everything. The inverter is good for 1500 watts. But, I mean, the circuitry in these for over power, it probably just uh, turned it off. So I'm going to try one more thing, so I'll be right back. I turned the light off. So, you know, so I turned the light off right there to see what happens when I just turn it back on. Okay, so there we go. We're back down. We're 335, 64 amps. Wow, that thing just, yeah, 778 watts. you think that it would be able to handle this power, 800 watts, but it just gets down on the voltage and you're just going to hit it down. Yeah. It could be the inverter. So I'll have to check this out and find out. So anyway... It's running uh, some good power. Probably charged the battery up to a full extent. It's down to 90, 13 volts. So it was 13, 18. So, um, okay. So there we go. So, so overall, this thing handles uh, the 200, 300 watts consistency really well. Um, the water heater, um, it's, you know, we think it would be able to handle it, but that startup juice, it has not been turned on for months. So it probably took, it's taken a lot of watts to do it. There's what we got going on with the heater. And that's handling it. Just find the heater's back on over there behind me. I'm running about 10 amps. Voltage is 1286. So I'm just trying to do a deep discharge on this. It's, they said the Jita batteries need to do a deep char, uh, discharge and then uh, charge it back up to recycle it back. So I'm going to have this thing do that right now. And um, I'm going to finish up Put in the battery charger which will be like this battery charger will be sitting up there like that like there and then these guys will go plugged in over there and i'm just going to have it there and it'll just plug in down here so but overall it's a really good test um i love the other battery uh i wanted to give a shout out to jita for um they were they have right now at Amazon a hundred dollars off on these. So I mean, not even with any code. I don't have a code or anything like that. But um, 
you know you can get that and you're right at a thousand bucks uh 300 amp hour um they like i said ask for the free charger um last one i got didn't have the rabbit ear brake but it's just a spring in here i probably can figure it out so but anyway it's a great great setup and i'm happy i've i've shedded uh 60 pounds by having this battery and um i think it's going to be do a great job so anyway pat love our planet we'll see you guys next time here and uh please share subscribe and like and we'll see you on our next adventure take care now